y'all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods, and here we are guys, we have finally done it, it's about three weeks of finally doing it, but we have now got the new man cave, or bear cave as I call it, uh, it was named by somebody else, so uh, yeah, there's a long story behind that one, we have now got the new bear cave in action, like I said, it's been about three weeks uh, since I started it. Obviously, I needed to strip everything out, and then I needed to... Oh, it's been an absolute nightmare. But, while doing this, I actually um, did a video about it. So, I'm just going to bring my microphone in a little bit near it here. There we go. Don't in camera shot. There we go. There we go. I can do that now. Um, basically, yeah, I decided to do a video of me doing this bear cave on basic updates on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, there were a couple of days where I was just like, ugh, not having a good day, basically. Um, and then there were other days where it was just really good, really, really, really good. Um, uh, don't ask me ever to decorate a large room because if it took me three weeks to do this and this is a box room... I dread to think how long it's going to take me to decorate a rather larger room. That's probably why I don't decorate very often. Hmm. That's probably why nobody ever asked me to come over and decorate, but that's because I just like to get things done, and I like to get them done properly, and I like to do them in my own time, um, as well as when I can do that I'm not in any pain or distracted by anything. But uh, here we are. This is the new backdrop. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the videos of the day-to-day -day updates, and um, yeah, I hope to see you enjoyed this uh, process. Um, I did enjoy it at the start, I've got to admit. Um, but as a couple of weeks rolled by, it was getting to the stage where I was going, oh, this is never going to end. I'm never going to get there. It's just a nightmare. Why did I start this? But um, we did get there in the end. And yeah, um, I'm really, really pleased with the outcome. So here we go, guys. Um, Let's get renovating! Okay guys, so here it is. Here's the uh, start off with uh, stripped down. So there's the build desk. Uh, yeah, not much to say about that one. Um, basically I've had to dismantle two cameras. I've still got my main camera there in case I want to do any work while things are going on. A few holes in the walls to plug and that to all sort out. Plaster in this place is terrible. Uh, familiar surroundings. So uh, there was where the Ecto-1 is. We've still got the uh, Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing still in place. Um, still on my wall. There on my metal plaques. Um, I'm going to keep them there. I think I'm going to keep that the same colour as well because I kind of like them there. And they fit really nice. Um, back to Fimula Sounding, I've still got to put some more Titanic stuff away on my mugs. I've got the Red Bull Racer and the uh, Hummer there. Them shelves are going to stay, so they're going to stay up there while we're sorting out in here. Apart from decorating, of course. Uh, down here, you notice one of the Titanics has gone. We've still got the filing cabinets. Um, the DeLorean's all packed away and in storage at the moment. So that's coming along nicely. Then if we go over to the computer, well, there we go. I mean, that's looking quite bare at the moment. Still got a few things in place, so I can still use the computer and whatnot. Computer's still underneath there. That'll be moving. That'll be one of the first things to do after decorating. But yeah, uh, we've still got the shelf up there with a few bits and pieces on. Uh, that shelf's going to go back up, so uh, I just need to take that down and decorate behind it. So uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, there's the door. I've got my t-shirts there, which I'm going to start wearing in the build. And uh, this is where we are at. Uh, that's the cupboard there with the posters on. I need to take them off. Um, so they don't get damaged as we're doing here in here and uh, yeah so it's a work in progress it's not going to be something that's going to be done straight away um but it's going to take time but uh i don't want to damage anything or ruin anything so it's going to be a lot better once it's done definitely going to be a lot better 
that's where the 3d printer was and that's obviously come down now on the shelf for that's come down again i'm going to be putting it back up in here somewhere uh up there so i've got all the folders for the builds so yeah my sad state of affairs up there is the uh, wooden titanic from eagle moss um that i'm gonna have to decide what to do because it doesn't look like that build's coming back but then we have the ecto one there so yeah coming along nicely and um, like i said work in progress so um yeah i'll catch you on the next update hi everyone welcome back to day two of the bear cave renovation so basically today not much changed on that wall i'm still going to keep my plates on there but i'm going to give that wall a lick of paint but as you can tell now that i've filled in all of the holes even the holes that were there before even i went there absolute mess but it's done it needs to be sanded tomorrow still got the shelf up there <clears throat> that's probably going to come down tomorrow because it's sand and paint there as you can see all has been filled in there it does feel a lot better in the end now they're all been done go around here we've got empty shelves there that's where the hummer and the red bull was and then if we just go down here still got the filing cabinets there and my drawer unit this is where all the shelves have come down. This is the wall that we all saw in the videos. Lightsabers are still up. Giving them a clean today. We've still got the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing up. But uh, yeah, that is day two of this uh, renovation. Uh, still got a few more bits to take down tomorrow. Um, so I've got that shelf. That's going to have to come down. So I'm going to have to take everything off there. Uh, I'm going to have to take the light down as well because that's going to have to move um still got me like little tools there out ready to go um that's just in case i just want to work on any projects while i'm doing this obviously i still gotta keep got my drawers under there keep busy that's what i meant to say computer's still there and bits and pieces but it's coming along in here and you know i'm working on it as much as i can during the daytime but uh, yeah it's very bare in here now very very bare still got the computer set up plodding along there but yeah it's starting to look better it looked a lot worse earlier today um i've counted 104 wall plugs or raw plugs taken out so uh, that's a lot but there was a few in there that weren't mine that were there previously but that's day two's update so i'll inform you how day three goes tomorrow so good night all from me. It is actually about what time is it? Ten past nine at night here. I've been working on this all afternoon and all day. So uh, yeah, I think it's time for a bit of R and R. So see you tomorrow on day three. Hi guys. Well, here is day three. What can I say? Uh. Well, as you can see, day three didn't go as planned. We were really busy. Didn't get exactly what I wanted to do done that day, so I didn't do really a call recording much for it. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare, but hopefully on to day four. Okay, so here we are guys, we're on day four. Um, a little bit's changed, so we've started painting now. Uh, I've got to put a second coat on that wall. Uh, the big shelf has come down. That was up there. Uh, that is now just standing up there. I uh, had to put some dust sheets over things, so that's Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing. With the dust sheet over. Still got the lightsabers up there. That's another wall that's had one coat of paint on it. It's going to get its second and final coat today. Uh, the computer's still up and running. So that's going okay. Uh, next day, this is going to uh, be removed. So I do need to get underneath there and I do need to uh, paint underneath there and give it its first coat. So 
So this can have to be removed as well as a lot of other things as well, which is uh, not going to be great, but uh, it should look good in the end. Uh, just realise that um, this could be harder than what I think. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. So we'll see you on day five. Hi everyone, so here we are on day five. Uh, not a lot got done today. Um, we've done the cutting in now, up up there and the wall. Uh, we're gonna start this wall tomorrow. This is gonna be one of the feature walls. Uh, I've got kind of a bit of a basic setup now on the computer. Um, I've had to strip all that down because I had to move it out yesterday and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that's uh, one monitor, very basic to what I'm normally used to. Um, done a bit more cutting in on that wall there. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Uh, did a bit of the roof yesterday as well. Uh, not much over in this area has changed though. So. Um, hopefully we'll get on with some more painting today, fingers crossed, and yeah, oh well tomorrow would I say, and uh, yeah, roll on, day six. Hi everyone, so here we are on day six, now we've got this wall, well still need to do a second cut, but we've done the uh, Second coat on the roof, bit there and down the sides. This wall now is all now done. Um, we're just getting round to these bits. Uh, computer's now basically on there. And we are getting there. It's just so slow progress waiting for things to dry and doing it in the time that I'm allowed. But uh, yeah, that's really it for day six, not much. So hopefully we'll have more on day five, or day seven, sorry. Hi guys, so here we are back at day seven, the end of day seven, it's like nearly quarter to 10 at night. I've been painting up to quarter to 10 at night, but uh, as you can see, um, we've still got now the second coat to go on. Um, the desk has gone now and that will be back up as soon as I've got the second coat on. Uh, so it's just temporarily removed, but I do have to cut it down just a slight bit. But we've got sort of all up there sorted. Um, what we've mainly done today is we've done all the cutting in down there. And up there, so this is ready for first coat tomorrow. And as you can see, we're sort of getting in there with the roof. Um, they are going to have to probably be moved tomorrow, the X-Wing and the uh, Millennium Falcon, because I need to paint that wall. And it's going to be a bit impossible to paint that wall without uh, with them on. So, yeah. So I've got my bits and pieces down there. All my tools. I'm trying to keep a nice tidy area, but it's not always easy. Um, they are going to probably have to come down tomorrow as well. So all my tin plates that are there, but um, they can be put back up easily enough. Um, so again, that wall can be painted. And then as soon as the second coat's been done, which should not take long, we should be ready to start glossing. Now I've got a order of wood coming tomorrow from a DIY store. Uh, well-known DIY store starting with a W um, So that's on its way tomorrow again. I'm on a very basic setup here computer, but I still like to uh, watch YouTube videos while I am um, Painting away and doing away. So and it's nice to still be interacting in uh, what's going on. So Yeah, it's coming along. I can see progress and I can see light at the end of the tunnel is painting. Yes, it is taking forever well, that's because obviously I've got other things to do during the daytime and basically, you know, I'm trying to make sure this is done properly. Uh, the walls of this house are atrociously bad. So, yeah, it's trying to work around that and trying to make the best job possible. So, guys, we'll catch up tomorrow. Hopefully, we've got more paint on the walls tomorrow and we'll see you on day eight.
Hi go! Here we are, day eight. Now, a bit more progress today. So, we now have the second coat on the future wall. Um, that is still drying, so it does look a little bit patchy right now. Um, I haven't done much on the second coat on the wall here, but I do now, and it's very hard to see, have the second coat on this wall here. Um, sorry, first coat on this wall here. Uh, the X-Wing and the Millennium Falcon are down and all the metal plates are down as well. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of painting to do still. Um, second coat on the wall tomorrow, uh, which should be fun. And then, yeah, we'll continue uh, with it. Still got my uh, basic setup again. Uh, down there, not doing much, but uh, yeah, I've still been able to watch uh, live streams and whatnot as I'm painting, so uh, yeah, so roll on day nine. Hi guys, so here we are, day nine, done a lot today, so we have now got the second coat on this wall. The uh, feature wall has been has dried and is now a solid colour and that is looking lovely. Uh, we've got the second coat all on these walls as well. As you can see. We've got this wall painted. That's had three coats. That had a paint that was an absolute troublemaker, but uh, looking great now. And this is where the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing were. And again, that's had its two coats of paint. And then here we have where the uh, metal plates were. That has had its two coats of paint as well. And we have done the glossing as well. So we've done all the skirting boards all around, all around the windowsill. And it focuses. Um, we've also done on top of here, this is where the Ecto-1 was and the uh, R2-D2 and that's all now had a gloss coat on it. It's going to have a second one tomorrow because obviously there was black underneath that. So it needed a second uh, second coat tomorrow but it's a quick drying gloss paint. Um, it's going to take about six hours to dry. It's touch dry after an hour so it's not too bad. You can tell I'll just sort of down there. Well, we have this bit over the stairs and a little bit of a cupboard in there. We're doing it in the signature uh, pen because I just thought it looked really nice just to emphasise it and it really come out well. So the tasks are tomorrow. I've got to put the uh, second coat on this here. All being well. And it's going to be a case of putting everything back together. So... Um, we need to move these filing cabinets. They are actually going to go to my wife, Yorkshire Crafter. Um, I'm going to put uh, my build in some plastic drawers that we've got um, that I can put under a desk so there's uh, more desk space basically. Uh, so they're going over to, uh, to her tomorrow. Uh, I've got that set of plastic drawers there. Still got a very basic computer set up but hopefully that'll be better. Uh, got a desk to put up here. Oh, I've got loads to do, but it should be enjoyable when we start constructing in here. So I'd definitely say the hard work is over in here now with regards to the painting. And yeah, I am looking forward to tomorrow. Really worked hard on this today. I've been at it since, what, 10 a.m. this morning. And uh, yeah, it's now oh, 20 to 11 on a Friday evening. Uh, March the 31st, so we've got April Fool's Day tomorrow, or April the 1st, but I'm really impressed on how it's looking. Even just little bits like that, that are just tying all the room together. But I do love the feature wall, I think that is a lovely shade of blue. Anyway guys, I'll check you guys tomorrow on day 10, and we'll see how far we've got on that day, so bye for now. Okay guys, so here we are. We are a few days later, about three days later. So 
So, so I haven't recorded for the past couple of days, but it's been manic in here. Um, as you can see, we are starting to put back together. So we now have the X-Wing up there. We have all the metal plates back up. We have the Millennium Falcon. We have our top shelf up there and we've got the light coming down. Started to put the uh, the workbench, the build table back together. Uh, I've got the printer there, that's going underneath. I've got the shelving back up there, that's what we all used to see. Some vehicles up there, I've got lightsabers. And then this is what I've been working on today. And this is going to be the new computer setup with all three monitors. It's taken its time, but it is so going to be worth it once it's done. So yeah, a work in progress. I promise I'll put up another video tomorrow. Hopefully the computer will be switched on tomorrow and everything will be working fine. Because that's now there on that side. And yeah, wait for the update tomorrow. Bye for now guys. Well guys, I know I said record next day, but guess what? I pushed through and we are finished. So I'm going to take you now on the final tour. We finally got there of the new cave. And yeah, I am really happy with it. So uh, first of all, we've seen this previously, but we have the, 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 the metal plates there. There, I mean, that looks so much better there. There we have the Millennium Falcon. We have the Yoda above it. There's all my folders. There's the Ecto-1, which I need to sort out. Um, I've had to put my magazines up there for now. Um, so they're the ones that I have to do. If you notice here, we have the Ecto-1. I've got all the LEDs now up and running on this back wall. And there we can sort of see now the work desk. So we've got the Death Star LED thing. We've got the Cactus. Then we have now two cutting mats out. So the one on the left is painting. One on the right is building. I've got all my tools. Got all my equipment. Ready for YouTube. Got the DeLorean there. I've got a second monitor just so I can keep an eye on when I'm recording. Or if I'm streaming. Don't do much just streaming these days. Uh, go a bit further up. Got a new light box sign there. Got the Willow Way blueprint. Up there we have all the train stuff. Can't wait to get my hands started on that one. Got the R2. Down there is all the tools that I use. I've now got them in one place. Uh, we move over there. We look down here and we have the Terminator. Looking very, very nice in its new place. A lot better than it where it was before. Now if I go up. Here we've got the Red Bull, we have the Hummer, and then we've got all the cups. They've just gone back to where they were. Got my little Titanic stay bit there. And then down below we actually have the Titanic that we're building. And if I just come over here, we've got, uh, there's the Ender 3 Pro PLA printer. And then we've got the newest addition to the uh, to the cave, which is the uh, Halo Halo One uh, Creality uh, resin printer as well. Been playing with that. That is amazing. Then we have some uh, C3PO, and we've got R2D2 up there. And then above that, we have the X-wing. That's just gone back in its normal place. The lightsabers are up, just up there. And then we come down. This is in sort of a newish section, really. This is where the filing cabinets and the uh, DeLorean were. But this is my new work desk where I've got a lot more space so I can do a lot more editing. And yeah, looking a lot, lot better. Just sort of using the use of the space that I've got. Underneath that, we've got the, my printer down there. I've got the bane and a few bits to do. That box there, actually, is a gift from Peter Webster. 
that I need to do an unboxing video for or a live stream so I'm going to try and get that done today and yeah a lot more room uh, got all the builds down there now so I've got the DeLorean, Titanic, Camper, Rossi, Miura and an empty one so uh, yeah thinking on what I could fill that with and then we're just underneath there I've got the air compressor so I've got a lot more leg room when I'm building as well now which is great um, but I'm really impressed with the desk and how that's come out. So I've got this now full length of this desk, which can be a lot easier. And because I've sort of wall mounted, I don't know if you can see there, so I've wall mounted the uh, arms. I don't need to put the arms and attach them to the desk, so they're not getting in the way anymore. So looking a lot, lot better. And then like I said, we've just got the shelves above. And yeah, this is what your guys are going to see on camera. Uh, when I do my introductions and my outros. Uh, this is the new, what's going to be behind. So yeah, very, very exciting. So that is the cave. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this uh, catch up. Of the progression of it it's not been easy not by a long shot not with the way things are with my uh, arthritis and bits and pieces like that but uh, yeah I've done a single handle it and I'm so so chuffed with it all so thanks everybody for following me on this journey it's not been easy doing a massive re-renovation but I'm just so glad with the way things have turned out so thanks for watching well guys there you go that was the uh, journey of doing this room i don't know why i even tried to attempt it i just don't think i'd ever do that again uh but it's now the way i want it it's now um it, i haven't got as much space as i did before but i've got a lot more worker room and um, which is what was the main thing i was after um and i've got some more shelving which is fantastic um which i can store more models on i'm a, i know i'm not showing like the titanic stuff at the moment anymore but um yeah it's uh it's been a labor of love and like i said there are times where i've just gone not today and it's, i've been knackered i've been really really tired doing it i'm still in a bit of pain right now even though i only just finished this room last night and that was hooking up all the cameras and the microphones and everything and it, it just takes longer than what you think, really. But uh, I've had a lot of support along the way of this one, especially from family. So it's been quite a journey. Really, really has been quite a journey. And I'm looking forward now to the new look uh, of in here. And hopefully be able to work on quite a lot of new models, bigger models as well. Uh, now I've got the desk space behind me. Anyway, if you like this video, please can give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of any future uh, issues or videos or anything. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now. Hey guys, right, here we are, day nine. We have done...